Have your children sucked the life out of your breasts? Do you need a breast lift or are you too young for that? Hi everyone, it's Sarah from International Rejuvenation and today I'm going to talk a little bit about breast lift and how it isn't just for the over 40s. A lot of people think that breast lift is just for people that are older, but really it doesn't matter if you have a small amount of size sag or a large amount of sag you could be a candidate for a breast lift. The three main reasons why people need a breast lift is of course age, weight loss and gain and of course skin elasticity. Some people just at a young age just don't have great skin elasticity and your breast may sag. People often talk to us and say oh I don't know if I need a breast lift or breast augmentation the answer is you don't really need to know. Your surgeon will let you know after he's looked through your surgery question and your photos whether or not you need a breast lift. He will let you know whether or not it's a small lift or a large lift. So you don't need to know. If you wanna have a quick look in the mirror, there's two easy ways that you could be a candidate um, for a breast lift. One is stretch marks. Stretch marks mean you have bad skin elasticity and therefore chances are you will need a lift. And the other thing is, if your nipple is in the lower part of your bust, so if your breast is this here, and if your nipple doesn't sit in the middle, if it sits in the lower part of your bust, that will be a good sign also that you may need a breast lift. Some people don't want to have a lift, even if it's been recommended by the surgeon because they're worried about the scarring. Scarring for a breast lift changes from each lift. So for a small lift, it's normally just around the areola. A lollipop lift is around the areola and down the bust. And then an anchor scar or a large lift is around the areola, down the bust, and also in the crease. Some people think if I just get a high profile implant, I won't need a lift, which is completely incorrect. High profile implant will not give you the lift that you want and it will give you a bit more projection at the front but your nipple will still sit very low in your bust. Touching on unrealistic expectations again, a lot of people think if they get a lift they'll end up with 20 year old breast or perky stripper boobs which is normally quite incorrect. Most people that need a breast lift have bad skin elasticity and it, people kind of struggle with the idea of bad skin elasticity and do I have it. An easy way of explaining it for me is if you've got an old pair of togs that are, or swimmers, whatever you'd like to call them, that are perished and if you put an implant in those they're just going to sag. So even if the surgeon gathers up and ties a knot in those togs, puts an implant in, they may look okay for a while but over time the, the togs are never going to heal themselves, they can't unperish and they just keep on perishing. So your implant, which is heavy, will keep dropping and dropping and dropping. People often think if I get a high profile, big implant, it'll fill my bust down and make them look bigger, perkier and higher, which they will. For a tiny period of time, within six months to a year, you're gonna have a large amount of sag again because once, once again, your skin elasticity isn't great and your skin cannot hold that big heavy implant. The bigger your implant, the heavier it is. So my best advice once again is to listen to your surgeon and if he recommends a high profile, go high profile. If he recommends not going above 350 cc's, don't go above 350 cc's. Listen to your surgeon because they know what will give you the best outcome not just for six months or a year but for longevity. For more information call us on 1300 140 040 or you could email us inquiries at internationalrejuvenation.com.au and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Bye!